In this video, I'm going to tell you about pre-rendering your files and how that can help you. This video is part of the beginner series here in Suave, a series of videos to help new DaVinci Resolve users to learn and get used to the software in less time. This is a feature that comes in DaVinci Resolve 17 actually, so if you're working on an older version, it might not work. And there's a difference, there, there's the cache rendering, which is when you do a change and this sort of creates a file in your computer but it's not like readily accessible because it changes every time you do a change on your computer on the timeline right and which is these render cache and here are the ways that you can see it let me change it to half resolution while i'm recording these because that way it takes less memory uh, here from the venture itself okay so there's a difference is the render cache is not pre-rendering Pre-rendering is, for example, let's say you have this transition here, but when we go to the deliver page, um, you're trying to render the whole project, but it gets stuck there and it takes a long time. And then your whole your whole video doesn't get rendered because it just got stuck on this transition, for example, which is one of the transitions from the Taya transitions back that I did last year. You can check them out in the link in the description if you're interested. But if you see these, for example, let's say you want to create a pre-render of these because that creates a readily accessible file that doesn't have to be re-rendered from scratch again. And for some reason, it works better. So what you want to do is, so to pre-render your file here, the first thing that you might want to do is if you just select all of these and then just click render in place, it will just render one of these probably and that's what can happen sometimes so what you want to make sure is like if you have a transition like these for example you first want to create a compound clip and right click and then just create a new compound clip like this and that will just create a group of all your clips and then here you can render these in place and you're gonna select render make sure you include video effects because otherwise your effects and transitions or whatever are not gonna be included in this pre-render and that will open a folder which then you can choose whatever folder you want i'm just gonna do it right here select folder and that will create the render of that file that way when you go back to your rendering section here in the delivery page then it will have to it will just use this and it would not have to process that whole thing again so you can more easily pre-render and that also helps when you're trying to review something let's say you just pre-render all your transitions so when you're playing back your videos on your timeline that can help out a bit too so that is pretty much it for this pre-rendering video and a little bit of an explainer of how it works and i hope that this is helpful and that you can use it whenever you're working on projects that you have a lot of transitions and video effects on because that will really make it easier for you at the time of rendering your project because you will have those individual parts already rendered or pre-rendered actually. So that is it for this video and I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next video here in Suave. Bye.